Lost Luggage. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How can I help you? I think my luggage is lost. I've been waiting at the baggage claim for almost an hour, and it hasn't come out yet. Okay, can I have your flight details, please? I was on the Rome flight. We arrived at 3 o'clock. Can I see your baggage receipt? Sorry? When you checked in, you were given a baggage receipt. It might be on your passport. Oh, yes, right. Here you go. Thank you. So your name is Brian Nicholson. That's right. Okay, so that was the flight B-7803 from Rome to Boston. Can you make a description of your baggage? It is a large size Samsonite, and it's dark blue. Anything special about the suitcase? No, it's just a normal dark blue suitcase. Okay, is there a name tag on it? Yes, there's a white plastic tag with my name and address. Is the bag locked? No, it isn't. Could you give me your address in Boston, please? Yes, it's number 42 Somerset Street. And the telephone number? It's 617-269-8350. Okay, we'll get in touch as soon as we find your baggage. Here's your copy of the missing baggage report. Please sign here. How long does it usually take? Hopefully less than 24 hours. Okay, thanks. I'll be waiting for your call then. Sure. I'm sorry about the delay. Have a nice day. Going through immigration and customs. Welcome to the United States. Thank you. Can I see your passport and immigration form, please? Sure. Here you go. Where are you coming from? Spain. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm visiting my brother. What's his name and address? Carlos Perez, 8728 Jason Avenue North. How long are you planning to stay? Two weeks. Where will you be staying? I'll be staying at my brother's. Do you have anything to declare? I bought some duty-free items in the airport. Here's the receipt. That's fine. What do you have in this suitcase? Books, clothes, and personal belongings. Okay, please open your bag. Sure. Everything's fine. Is this your first visit to the country? Yes, it is. Great, thank you. You can proceed. Have a nice day in the United States. Thank you. I'm sure I will. Are you here for the interview? Hi there. Hi, are you here for the interview too? Yes, they say it's a good company to work for. Yes, it is indeed. Let's hope we're both lucky. I'm Paul. I'm Melanie. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Are you nervous? I'm super nervous because it's my first interview. It took me five months to finally have a company answering one of my applications. I couldn't believe it when I got called for an interview. I never thought that I'd be able to go for such a great job straight out of school. Congrats on your first interview. Thanks. Just be yourself and you should be fine. I'll do my best. It's great you were able to get this interview. So you just graduated from college? Yes, that's right. This job would be a dream come true and I'd give anything to get it. But I don't have any work experience. People want to see experience before they give you a job. But you can't get experience without a job in the first place. What about you? Do you have any experience? Yes, I have three years experience as a sales assistant. Oh, that's great. Melanie Davis? Yes, that's me. Please follow me for the interview. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. 
job interview. Good morning. Good morning, Melanie Davis, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Please have a seat. Thank you. So, I've received your resume and your letter of application, and then I see your current job is as a sales assistant at Stellar Shoe Company. How long have you worked there? I've been there for three years. I've really enjoyed my work at Stellar Shoe Company. I love helping customers find the right product. So why do you want to leave them? Because I recently moved, and the longer commute is not worth it. If I were to hire you, what would you bring to the position? Sell me on you. Why you over another applicant? Well, I always give my best. I am determined, adaptable, flexible. I will bring my best, and I will learn how to give you exactly what you need. I have a critical, analytical mind. I never stop thinking, questioning. Okay, Ms. Davis, do you have any questions for me? Yes, I do. I've applied for the position of sales assistant here, but I am interested in developing a career. Are there opportunities in the company for promotion? Yes, we're growing all the time, so there are a lot of opportunities for promotion. Okay, great. And in the job description, it says you offer flexible hours. Can you tell me more about that? Sure. We like to ask the staff when they prefer to work. For example, we have one member of staff who likes to work a few hours in the morning and then a few hours in the evening. That sounds great. It was nice meeting you, Ms. Davis. Thank you for coming. I'll give you a call with my decision in a couple days. Thank you, Mr. Anderson. You'll soon get promoted. Melanie, I have some good news for you. Our product sales have increased this month by 65%. Our products are getting a lot more attention. That's wonderful news. I'm so glad to hear that. We've been able to reach our sales target. That's because a few customers purchased a lot of products in bulk. That's thanks to you because you convinced them. I'm very pleased with your work. You did very well on your job. You are absolutely skilled at convincing customers. Thank you for your words of appreciation and encouragement. I just love my job very much. I hope in the coming months we can still increase our sale percentage. I'm sure we'll be able to achieve that. Our online store is attracting a lot of customers, too. Keep up the good work, and you'll soon get promoted, which means extra pay. At the bakery. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I'd like two eclairs and an almond croissant, please. Sure thing. Would you like a plain almond or a chocolate almond croissant? Plain almond. Okay. Anything else? I need some bread to make sandwiches for a lunch. How many slices will I get from one of those loaves of bread? You'll get ten slices a loaf. Then one loaf is enough. I think I'd also like some cupcakes. What flavors do you have? We have chocolate, blueberry, caramel, and vanilla flavors. I'd like four cupcakes in each flavor. Here you go. Those mini fruit tarts look gorgeous. Yes, they are delicious. They are filled with cream cheese and topped with fresh fruits. What fruits are there? Kiwi, berries, and mandarin orange. I'll take three of them, please. So two eclairs, one almond croissant, four cupcakes, one loaf of bread, and three mini fruit tarts. That's $56.44 in total. Here you go. Thanks. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. 
requesting a refund. Hello, can I help you? Hello, I bought these jeans two days ago in your shop, but I realize they're too small and I don't feel comfortable in them. Can I exchange them for a bigger size? I'm afraid they're sold out in every size. But we have some other stuff available if you're interested. Oh dear, I can't believe they're already sold out. Will you be replenishing the stock anytime soon? I don't think they'll be back in stock. New models are in stock now at the same price. Well, I'm not interested in other jeans models. Can I have my money back? Yes, sir. Do you happen to have the receipt on you? Yeah, sure. Here it is. I'll just have to fill out this form for you. What's your name? Ryan Walker. And your address? 645 South Olive Street. So what is the reason you want to return the jeans? They're too small. Okay. Sign here and I'll give you the refund. Thank you. You're welcome. Requesting an exchange. Good morning. Can I help you? Oh, yes, please. I just bought this food processor, but it's not working well. In order to test the blender and the mini chopper, I put some water in and it immediately started leaking from the bottom. There must be something broken. I see. Can I have a look, please? Here you are. I think the blade does not fit well. Yes, you're right. It's broken. Would you like an exchange or a refund? I'd like an exchange, please. Okay. I'll go and get one from the shelf for you. Just a minute. Thank you very much. Calling emergency. <coughs> Hello, fire department here. Hello, please help. My house is on fire. What's your address? It's number 21 Somerset Street. Please don't panic. Try to keep calm and stay alert. The firefighters will be there in a few minutes. Are you in the house right now? Yes, I'm on the first floor, in my office. I tried to put out the fire, but I couldn't do it, and the fire is spreading fast. Please get yourself out of the house immediately. Is there anyone else in the house? No, it's just me. There's a lot of smoke. I can hardly see anything. You must drop to the ground and cover your head. You need to crawl on your hands and knees to keep your head in the safety zone. Close doors behind you, then leave the house and wait outside in the street for the fire brigade. I managed to get out of the house. I can hear the fire truck in the distance. Thanks a lot for your help. Renting a house. Hello, Rapid Realty, how can I help you? Hello, I'm interested in renting a house. My name's David Danson. Yes, Mr. Danson, what sort of thing were you looking for? A two bedroom house with a garage. Okay, what area of the city are you interested in? The main areas we deal with are Beacon Hill and the West End. I am interested in Beacon Hill. What sort of price were you thinking of? I think about $2,500 a month would be my limit. Certainly. Okay, well, would you like to have a look at a couple of properties, sir? Yes, that'd be great. Looking at our files, I think we've got two which might suit you. There's one on Clark Street, which is $2,500 a month. Are the bills included in the rent? None of the bills are included. Water is around $35, and internet is around $30 per month. Gas and electricity bills average $20 per month over the summer and $35 over winter. Okay, right. And the second house is in Lakeshore Drive. Got that. And how much is that one? That's $2,200. 
So when would you be available to see them? Is Monday okay? No, unfortunately, Monday is not possible. How about Tuesday afternoon? Okay, that's fine. Would four o'clock be okay? Yes, it's perfect. Just come to the Rapid Realty offices. Just one more thing. What documents do I need to rent with you? You need proof of current income, credit history, and a reference from your employer. Okay, noted. And how much is the deposit? That's one month's rent. Okay, one month. I'll give you more details on Tuesday when we meet. Great. Thanks a lot for your help. See you on Tuesday. Registering with a doctor. Hello, can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like to register with the GP here. Of course. Is it just you or do you have a family? It's just me. I'm single. I don't have a family. What's your name, please? Ethan Fisher. Can you spell your last name, please? Yes. F I S C H E R. Thank you. What's your date of birth? It's the 6th of September, 1995. Okay. And what's your nationality? I'm German. What's your address, please? 5741 Van Dyke Street, Philadelphia. Do you have proof of your address with you? Yes, I've got my gas bill here. Thank you. Are you a permanent resident in the U.S.? Yes, I've been here for three months now. And is this your first time you've registered with a doctor? Yes, it is. Can you also give me your phone number? Sure, it's 215-627-6260. That's fine. Thank you. Applying for a library card. Hello, I'd like to get a library card, please. Sure. What's your name, please? Jessica Williams. What's your address? It's 067 4th Avenue, Northeast. And your postcode? 98101. Do you have your identity card? I'm afraid I don't. I forgot it at home. Well, I need to see something with your address on it. I have my electricity bill. Is that okay? Sure, it's fine. Please sign your name here and your card will be ready immediately. Please take your card. You can use the computer to look up where in the library you can find the book that you're looking for. Okay. How many books can I borrow at a time? You can borrow three books at a time. Good. And how long can I keep a book with me? You can keep a book with you up to maximum two weeks. Can you also please tell me where the reading area is? The reading area is on the left corner of the library between the restrooms and computer area. Thank you very much for your help. You are most welcome. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.